Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Tarvis, where I'm shutting down for the evening. I uh, got some work done on the Golden Knights Twin Otter, Thunderbolt, the KI-67 Peggy, and uh, they're starting to come along. The Twin Otter had some serious issues with overspray because it's black and white, and I taped everything off. Well, I shot it white, then taped everything off, shot the black, and then somehow I found some overspray that it snaked through and I was like okay great 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 I'll 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 tape it off again you know and touch it up and this time some black got through and you're like I know I'm sealing this thing up how is this paint making 180 degree turns around stuff but you know uh this one's being painted with a rattle can not an airbrush and you got to remember when when those spray cans unlike an airbrush where you can meter your pressure you know spray guns it guns it comes out how it comes out and you're just stuck with what happens and uh, sure enough uh, no matter how many times I kept doing it I kept finding little patches that would sneak through so you know what I'm just gonna decant a little of the paint and just touch it up with a brush that's what I should have done a long time ago and uh, make kind of making life hard on myself so gonna do that and another thing was that uh, it, I had used that uh, Rust-Oleum 2X paint and the texture of the paint is okay when you have the, the plastic nice and smooth and everything but it uh, it shows anything like at an X-Acto knife nick or something it, it really it mars fairly easily and uh, it's just uh, got to be careful with it uh, I should have put some clear coat over it or something that I didn't get around to doing so uh, I'll be touching up these little boo-boos with the brush and it's just one of those aggravating things like I know I sealed that off how did that paint get up under there and sometimes you realize it might actually be some transfer off your hands so a uh, little bit of a trick getting that uh, to work out but that's you know again all part of the joy of building models another thing was somebody asked me about that little Airfix lunar module that I unboxed the other night and uh it was uh this one i'm excuse me i said airfix uh amt this amt lunar module and uh i took it out and it was just one uh tree and i started uh tinkering with it next thing you know, i built it <laughs> it was very easy very straightforward it comes with the part of the saturn 5 that houses it so you can display it how you want you can't really snap tight it it's got to be glued together it even comes with a three little teeny tiny astronauts which makes no sense because there is uh no window you can't see them inside but oh well so uh hey it's actually a pretty neat little kit and uh, i still have to paint it of course but uh anyway uh tomorrow i will hopefully finish up the golden knights plane and uh, get some more work done on the Thunderbolt. It's, uh, it's turned out to be quite the trick because the Thunderbolt has uh, that, that turtle deck that took so much sanding and so much putty just to get it all presentable. And uh, But there you have it. So that's it for now. Oh, one other thing. Somebody had suggested, it might have been Orange Tabby had suggested that, uh, hey, um, that launch umbilical tower is really not looking as good as a rocket, and I agree. It says instead of... Uh, trying to display that rocket on it why don't you use it in your next uh, diorama video and maybe blow it up and I think that's an excellent idea now since the last video was kind of you know serious and dark tone like the War of the Worlds movie I thought the next one since we just have lately have been kind of poking fun at you know camp sci-fi and horror movies I thought the next diorama video might be sort of a slightly campy tongue-in-cheek sort of you know uh, 60s Japanese sci-fi kind of thing uh, and, and and make it more of a fun thing and that'll give me a perfect excuse to blow up the launch umbilical tower <laughs> well that's all I have for tonight guys we'll see you later and model on